Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey everybody, welcome back to a quick beer review. We are going to drink, I think this is the oldest beer that I have. One of them. Um, someone had commented recently, they were like, hey, are you going <laughs> to post any reviews of non-hoppy beers? Um, and listen, we're getting into, um, it's almost December, uh, so there'll be a lot of stouts that are coming, but I was like, you know what, let's drink something that's not hoppy. So, um, from Founders, what are, they're in Michigan somewhere, I don't really pay attention or care about Founders, but um, this is a beer that I've enjoyed uh, immensely over the years. Uh, this is Backwoods Bastard. <coughs> Excuse me, and this beer is 10 years old. It is 10 years in the bottle. This is a 2014 vintage. Um, I grabbed this out of my closet upstairs, so it is room temperature. It has been sitting up there for 10 years. So we'll see how uh, see how it aged. Why not? 10.2% uh, alcohol by volume. It says ale aged in oak bourbon barrels. Founders is in Grand Rapids. It's a, is Founders, I don't think Founders is still the same as it used to be, but... Um, back in 2014, Founders was like a big deal for me. We couldn't get Founders beer. I don't even remember who sent me this or how I got this. No idea. Um, but it says printed right here, bottled on September 23rd of 2014. We are in November of 2024, so 10 years. LFG. Hopefully this doesn't like explode or gush. We're all right. Plenty of hiss uh, when I just opened that. So let's see. Uh, let's see how it did. This is what, a, a wee heavy? Is that what this is? A scotch ale, they call it? Look at that. There is zero fucking head on that beer. Poured the whole thing. There's nothing on the bottom either. There's a little bit of like sediment that just kind of sat there, but yeah. Crazy. Um, I've, like I said, very much enjoyed this beer. This is not a style that I drink ever. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to drink this. Why not? Poured the whole thing. Fuck it. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, this beer is like a deep mahogany, maybe. It's like, I mean, it looks, I'm sure it looks pitch black on camera, but there's like cool, like cherry red uh, notes, at the, or what to notes, Jesus. Cherry red uh, looking, whatever, appearance. What is that? How do you say that? <laughs> We've had some beers today. Um, that had, there was nothing when we poured it. It's quarter finger. It is khaki. It looks still in the glass. It looks like coffee. So. Let's, uh, can we generate a head if we swirl this? It's gonna spill. Nope, nothing. Smell this thing. This usually to me is like very raisin heavy, um, oaky, all that good stuff, so. <sighs> this beer smells fucking awesome. Holy smokes. It's like chocolate covered cherries, it's dark fruit, it's like raisins and plums. There's a good amount of like wood. It's oaky. Um, there's a little bit of like alcohol spirit to it. <sighs> Cherry cordial. I don't know why this smells so chocolatey to me. Oh my gosh, it smells fucking awesome. I think I might have another bottle of this. When I grabbed it, there was another founder. It might have been a Founders Imperial Stout, but if I have another bottle of this, I'll let it sit for another year. Dude, the beer in my closet, which is wrapped, like I totally forget what's up. I have no idea what's up there. I did a seller video years ago, um, and everything in that video is probably still upstairs. I haven't drank anything. Um, so yeah, if there's if I have another one of these up there, I'll I'll check back in on it next year. But I mean we're at 10 years. What are we doing? Yeah, it's just so much dark fruit, wood, uh, bourbon spirit like chocolate like molasses it smells sweet it smells great cheers so there was a hiss when we opened the bottle zero carbonation in this beer there's not a single bubble. Like, it's not prickly. It's nothing. This is so still on your palate. There is a lot of bourbon, which is awesome. But it doesn't drink hot. It is so much dark fruit. Plums, raisins, cherries. It's sweet. It's oaky. It's... It 
there's like a gosh what is that it, almost, like tobacco maybe my dad um so one of my dad's friends owned a cigar shop and sorry one of my dad's friends dad whatever my dad got a poster it's like a old like golf poster that was in a cigar shop um, and it's in his garage and you can still smell the cigar shop on that that's what this beer tastes like it's super flat on your palate though that's the only bummer i wish there was like a little bit of carb in this um, was 10 years too long maybe there's a little bit of like oxidation to it um, i had talked about in some like older i think stout videos maybe um my uh, mom's family lives in ohio and when we go visit my great aunt my great uncle like you walk down stairs into their basement and it just has like this like kind of wet papery smell it's just it's very distinct the smell in a in a basement for someone who lives in california that doesn't we don't have basements here um, it kind of reminds me of that it's like a kind of wet like papery thing which sounds weird but um yeah i mean is 10 years too long to sit on these probably but this is still really good i think i like the way it smells more than it tastes it smells very explosive so fucking like dark fruit and chocolatey but it doesn't quite carry over um on the taste it's really good and for 10 over 10 percent, it doesn't drink hot it doesn't feel warm it's pretty crazy um but yeah there's an oakiness it just kind of sits on the side of your tongue um this beer is pretty dry too like i kind of feel like my tongue is dry drinking this so um and people say like should you age beer should you sell her beer who fucking knows i don't know this is a beer, like these beers I got, I put them upstairs, forgot about them. Like it's nothing, I'm not drinking 10% beers <laughs> on the daily. Uh, so I'm not upset that I sat on it for 10 years, but it's still really, really good. But no, you don't have to sit on these for 10 years. It is fun drinking a 10 year old beer though. And it's also fun to report that um, in a non-climate controlled closet, I mean, I live in Southern California, this beer still tastes really, really good. So. Um, everyone's like, oh, you got to have a certain temperature. Oh, you have a certain um, <laughs> humidity, blah, 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 you know, to make sure your beers taste whatever when you're selling them. I'm like, who gives a fuck? Just put them in a dark place. You'll be fine. So uh, that is the 2014 vintage of Backwoods Bastard from Founders. Fun beer to drink. And here you go, a non-hoppy beer upload. So um, you guys fans of this beer? Let's talk about it. I mean, obviously, <laughs> I don't want to be like, hey, if you've had this. Let's talk about it too. Maybe you had it 10 years ago. I don't fucking know. But if you're fans of it, we'll talk about it. So that's it. Appreciate you guys watching. See you soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't.